school district will provide a quality education that prepares students to be productive college and career ready citizens. students are leaders that are challenged. Learn at high levels and use different strategies. Hello, I am Raven Bickett in Ms. Tobin's fifth grade class at Caverna Elementary School. Are you a leader, Raven? Yes, I am a leader. How are you a leader? I know that I am a leader because I put forth my best effort during class. How do you know if you are a leader? Because it shows my grades. Okay. Do you accept challenges? Yes, I accept challenges. Are you nice to all your classmates? Yes, I try to do my best when we do tasks together. Okay. Are you an example to others? Yes, I am an example to others. How? I think that I'm a good role model whenever I do what I'm told. Okay, thank you for your time, Raven. Bye. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Johnson. I'm a fifth grade student at Cabrera Elementary School. Hi, Mackenzie. Are you a leader? Yes, I am. Okay. How do you know if you're a leader? I know that I'm a leader because I've, accept, I've been accepted to the VIP table, and I am able to help in the lunchroom and help the preschoolers. Okay. Are you nice to all your classmates? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you an example to the ones around you? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Janai Redmond, and I'm a fifth grade student from Caverna Elementary School. Are you a leader? Yes, I'm a leader. How? I get my homework done, and and I follow the seven habits. Ha Do you accept challenges? Yes, I accept challenges. Are you nice to all your classmates? Yes, I am nice to all my classmates. How? Because if somebody loses a paper or something, I help them find it. Are you an example to others? Yes, I'm an example to others. How? Because I follow the seven habits. How do you know if you're a leader? I know if I'm a leader because I get my homework done and I follow the seven habits. Okay, thank you, Janelle. Bye. Hi, I'm Brooklyn Root and I'm a fifth grade student at Kavarna Elementary. Hello, Brooklyn. Today I will be asking you some questions. Let's start with the first one. Are you a leader? Yes. How? I'm a leader because I always get my homework done and I put forth the best effort. How do you how do you know if you're a leader? I know I'm a leader because I follow the seven habits. Do you accept challenges? Yes. Are you nice to your classmates? I am nice to my classmates. And how? I'm nice to my classmates because if they're struggling with their homework or something, I'll help them. Are you example to the students around you? Yes. How? I am, a, I am an example to the students around me because when little kids are around me or something, they'll want to follow me, and I'm always following the seven habits. Thank you for coming here today, Brooklyn, and that is the end of our interview. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Sikori, and I'm a fifth grade student at Cabrera Elementary School. Are you a leader? Yes. How do you know if you are a leader? My teachers, um, our teachers encourage us to um, exceed expectations. And they give us rewards and prizes and stuff. Are you always up to accept a challenge? Yes. Are you nice to your classmates? Yes. Are you, are you an example to those around you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Finn Burton. I'm the assistant principal here at Cabrera Elementary School. This is my first year down here at the elementary. Before that, I was a middle school teacher, social studies. Are you a leader? Well, yes, I suppose I am uh, by the title of my position. But I, you know, honestly, I feel like everybody is a leader. Everybody has leadership potential. It's up to them to decide if they are going to use that ability, though. Okay. Do you see great leaders here at CES? Yes, I do. Leaders can be in a positive or in a negative, and. You know, through my interactions with the students and with the teachers, I see uh, great leaders all around. You know, going into the halls. You know, not only just the teachers, but our our staff. Um, you know, Miss Pam and our people who work in the cafeteria and our our uh, custodians. 
They're all great leaders and our bus drivers as well. What are some qualities of a leader that you look for? One quality I look for in a leader is honesty. Uh, another word for that might be integrity, doing what's right even when, um, when no one is watching. I also look for someone who uh, is willing to take risk, uh, you know, stand out in a crowd, um, even if they're standing alone, if they feel like what they believe in is correct. You know, that's, that's a really good sign of a leader. And then finally, I feel like a leader is someone who is dedicated and loyal to what they're doing, so they're very passionate about what they do. What is your favorite thing about the leaders here at CES? My favorite thing about the students um, is I feel like they're always open to try new things and, and be willing to try to improve themselves. Uh, whenever you get older as a leader, they may not always be the case. Um, you might get a little uncomfortable, feel out of your comfort zone, but something I really like about our students here at the elementary school is they're always willing to, to try. Um, and that's very admirable to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Branny. You're welcome. Thank you. The mission of Cabernet Elementary School is to put students first. Every day we seek to unlock each child's leadership potential. Every student. Every day. Build leaders! Hi, I'm Shelby. I'm Brawley. I'm Megan. I'm Jameson. And I'm Zachary. And we are the superintendent's leadership team. Together, we are working hard to complete our district's missions.